3 Eyewitness News reporter Aliyah Red is live there this morning. So Aliyah, what time are things starting up there? Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, the gun will go off at 8.30 this morning, and 10K, 5K, and fitness walk participants will be hitting the pavement, and it will be going off, like I said, at 8.30 this morning. And it's the event's first year, but do not let that got fool you guys. Uh, it has drawn up plenty of attention. Organizers are saying that they are expecting 700 participants. Now, back out here live before the ceremony, at 8.10 a.m., they will have a uh, ceremony with Yukon's Army ROTC, and it will include a flyover as well and other things that are just going to honor vets. And that's taking place right out here outside of Yukon's rec center. Live in stores, Aliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. News reporter Aliyah Red is live there this morning. And Aliyah, this sounds like a great event. It does sound like a great event, and the great event will be kicking off at 8.30 this morning. 10K, 5K, and fitness walk participants will hit the pavement uh, to honor vets, and it's all going down, like I said, at 8.30 this morning. It's UConn's new Husky Run and Ruck event, and it is the first time that they're having this event, but don't let that fool you. Organizers are expecting 700 participants to be hitting the pavement. Before the race does take place, they will be having a honor uh, ceremony honoring veterans and that will include Yukon's Army ROTC, a flyover and tons of other uh, things and people on hand to just simply honor veterans and that's taking place right out here outside of Yukon's Student Rec Center. But for now, live in stores, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Aaliyah live in stores this morning with the details. So Aaliyah, tell us about what's going on there today. Good morning, Caitlin. Well, the run is starting at 8.30 a.m. this morning, and here to tell us all about it is the president of Hartford uh, Marathon Foundation. That is Mr. Josh Miller. Josh, thank you so much for joining me. Hartford Marathon Foundation, UConn, you guys are collaborating. How did this collaboration come about for this event? So this has been many years in the making. We've been talking with our friends over at UConn for a few hours. It's so exciting for you guys, and I mean, don't be fooled, guys at home. It is the first of its kind, but I was thinking of 700 folks. It's actually actually 800 people that you guys are expecting. So we're very pleased with the turnout. Uh, we anticipate there's still room to register. Uh, if you haven't decided to come out yet, we do anticipate it selling out this morning. So we encourage you to sign up online before you make your way to, to UConn. But come on out and, and, and celebrate this. We have some great programming outside of the run and the ruck. There's kids races for kids under 12 years old. We have a Black Hawk helicopter doing a flyover at the race start, which will be landing oh on campus. Uh, and kids, adults, anybody can interact with that afterwards. So it's just, it's going to be a great, uh, fun day here but also just celebrating you know celebrating veterans day yeah and that's what it's all about and there is something for everyone thanks so much josh but guys coming up in the next half hour we are going to speak with yukon officials they're going to tell us why this collaboration was so important to them as well but for now live in stores alia red channel three eyewitness news okay alia thank you and the huskies very first run in ruck is happening later this morning coming up i'm going to show you what exactly a ruck is and how it's going to be used coming up in this news reporter Aaliyah Red is live there this morning to tell us more about it. Good morning, Aaliyah. Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, the race is going to start in a couple of hours, but right now I have on a ruck and here to tell us all about it and how it's going to be used in the race is Mike and he is the associate director at UConn Rec Center. My, Mike, what is this? So you're wearing a fitness ruck um, and that's added weight that you can use for training or um, during your race today. So we have a 5k race, we have a 10k race. The rucking division is optional, um, but if you want a little added challenge, you can wear uh, your fitness ruck. And then um, we also have weight plates that go inside there, so you can, the minimum that's 10 pounds? 10 pounds is the recommended uh, weight. Some people will be doing more. We have some folks that would be wearing a, um, a military style ruck, so you can do that as a, as a backpack style as well. Absolutely. And right now, I'm like, it's not too heavy and not uncomfortable, but I can't imagine, I mean, a 10K, person running a 10K in this. Well, I'll be running the 10K in this uh, today. It's actually really, really comfortable. Um, if you've been training for a while, you kind of get used to that added weight, but it adds a little bit of, bit of resistance, a little bit of challenge, and um, it's just kind of a fun way to support our veterans and uh, get out and be active today. 
Absolutely. I mean, how did this collaboration come about? Well, we had done lots of races with HMF, Yukon Recreation. Um, we've done a race with them every year for about 10 years now. Um, and we, we were ready to, to kind of have a, a, an event here on campus. Veterans Day was a great kind of time to be able to do that. And um, we, we have a, a 10K course here that's really fun, really challenging. So we wanted to share that with, uh, with everyone. And we're, we're pretty close to sold out today. That's great. I know. I heard it's about 800 people, but we're running out of time. So I am going to send it back to you guys in studio. In a couple hours, we are going to be rucking and running. But for now, live in stores, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Aaliyah, thank you. Red is live on the stores campus this morning with the details. So, Aaliyah, looks like things are getting started there behind you. Things are getting started behind me, Caitlin, right over my right shoulder. We see the Yukon Veterans and ROTC tents. They are setting up. And the director of both of those groups, actually, Miss Alyssa, is here to tell us all about how this event is directly impacting uh, those affairs. Yeah, this event is great. Um, it's an expansion of a previous event, and this year um, some of the proceeds will actually go to benefit our military students. So it will go into a fund that we have here um, with the Yukon Foundation, and it will go to scholarships or things like helping students with food insecurity or any other fees they might have during the year. Absolutely. A great event, raising great funds for amazing causes, right? And something else that you guys have implemented is a former uh, student here at uh, UConn. He ran track. He also did military uh, things here as well. That's Kyle Milliken. Uh, how are you guys honoring Kyle today? So previously, for all the last seven years, um, this run was in honor of Kyle for talking with us. But that uh, 10K, it does have some challenges to it. And that's all in honor of Kyle coming up. We'll have some more talking about the first annual UConn Husky run and rug. Stay tuned for that. For now, live in stores, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Aaliyah Singh with a look at what's going to be happening there. Aaliyah. Good morning. Things are underway, Caitlin. And as you just saw, I did have a dog just give me or <laughs> run for my money. But we have some other dogs here. We have the Road Dogs who's running in this event today. And this is the director of Road Dogs. Hey, what are you guys doing today? So we're out here running. I know. And it's great running weather. I mean, it's freezing out here, but you guys will enjoy that. How does it feel knowing that you guys will be directly giving back to veterans uh, uh, who are from Yukon or just vets in Connecticut? Um, we're really happy. Uh, this has been something that I know that Yukon Rec has been wanting to do for a while now to pair up with HMF, but to also collaborate with the uh, Veterans Office. So to be able to give back and to be able to, you know, show everyone within the store community our facility to get everyone here on this beautiful campus and to just be together to celebrate for those that have served it's just a really great event and we're just really happy to be here and we're happy you're here as well thank you so much Jen right now we're gonna send it back to you guys in studio but we will have it more coming up in the next half hour for now live in stores Aaliyah Red Channel 3 Eyewitness News okay Aaliyah thank you Red is live there this morning and Aaliyah you have quite the crowd there behind you now morning Caitlin yes I do I am joined by the Yukon track and field team and you guys may not know this but I used to run track in college I can't run anything over a 400 so to know that you guys are out here or some of you guys are out here gonna run 5k's 10 k that's amazing I mean yeah I mean it's really nice to have this opportunity especially to honor our fallen uh, member absolutely we've got signs that says where is everyone going support us may the course be with you how cute is that we've got a senior pole jumper here we've got a senior jumper I mean what are you doing today um you know I'm here for the veterans for Kyle Milliken you know for everything that they've done for our country the least I can do is get up at 7 in the morning absolutely and you did just mention Kyle Milliken he did used to run here uh, track and field and he did pass away in the line of duty in Somalia some years back so to know that you guys are here and just honoring him and other veterans I mean how does that feel for you I mean, it feels great you know he's I, I say he's one of our most special alumni, so I feel great to support him here today. Absolutely. Great things are happening. The money will go to military veterans here in Connecticut as well as some at UConn's, uh, on UConn's campus. But for now, live in stores, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3. Eyewitness News.